Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. An object undergoes a simple harmonic motion, has a time period of T and the total energy E. Amplitude of oscillation is now halved. What are the new time period and the total energy of the system? So they're talking about the pendulum, my dear students, and uh, no, they're not talking about the pendulum. They're just talking about any simple harmonic motion. Okay, so... <clears throat> So we know that the time period is given as 2 pi root of m by k in the case of mass spring system. You can go for the spring pendulum, uh, the pendulum uh, simple system also. Uh, and it will be to time period is equal to 2 pi root of L by G. Accordingly also in that also we can prove it. <clears throat> so here also I'm doing it. So in the formula there is, there is no variable that talks about amplitude or a variable which is dependent on amplitude in any manner. So if the amplitude is halved or if the amplitude is increased, it means that the time period of the simple harmonic motion will not change. And yes, ironically, it will not change. Like it seems to be changing because now the bodies are moving at a farther distance, isn't it? Like earlier, the amplitude was up to this only. And let us say in the second case, the amplitude is this much far away. Let us say the amplitude is double. And so if this kind of a thing is... Uh, happening and they say that the time period does not change so people would be asking like why the time period does not change yeah it's it's okay that from the formula we know that the time period is not dependent on the amplitude but practically how can you explain that well the explanation for that is this that more is the amplitude or more is the displacement more becomes the restoring force and more becomes the acceleration of the body with which the body is getting restored to the mean position thereby increasing the average velocity of the body and hence more is the distance more is the velocity the time remains the same and that is why the body will reach the mean position in the same time and it will be completely independent of the amplitude so one thing is sure that the time period will be same so either c or d now we are moving to the total energy so there is no formula for the total energy by the way um, like uh, what is total energy? Total energy is sum total of kinetic and potential. So I can say it is equal to kinetic plus potential at any time. But at extreme positions, kinetic energy is zero. At this position, the body is not moving. So it becomes zero. And only and only the potential energy is there. And that even given by this. Half kx squared is the general formula for the elastic potential energy. But at the extreme positions, x is equal to a. That is amplitude. So the maximum potential energy is half k a square and that will be equal to the total energy. Clearly, the total energy is now dependent on the amplitude and that even it is varying with the square of the amplitude. So now the amplitude is halved. It only means that the energy is now 1 by 4. So energy is divided by 4 and the time period remains the same and so the answer will be C. So if you ask like uh, how is it coming like that so it will be half k and a is a by 2 whole square and which becomes t e divided by 4 so that is what is happening with the total energy and hence the answer should be c and accordingly yes my dear students the answer is found to be c so this is the explanation for this question if there is any other doubt you can ask me in the comment section my, myself professor Varun, please subscribe to the youtube channel and also share the video with all your friends all the best